I suppose I'm a bit different to most chefs in that I came to it later in life. Um, I was originally an engineer, didn't cook, wouldn't cook, couldn't cook, and I don't know what happened. Went to Ballymaloo for three days, came back a changed person, um, stayed another year at my job, and then up and went and took the three month course in Ballymaloo. And after that, started working for a catering company, and 18 months later, started my own business, and that was 12 years ago, and here I am now. My journey uh, in this uh, business of cooking started at a very young age. Uh, we came from a very uh, conservative vegetarian family and I hadn't tasted meat. The first instance I tasted meat, I just fell for it. And then there it all started. How to make a tandoori chicken, how to roast a leg of lamb. It all started on my own. And uh, in course of time, I did some professional qualifications and I joined the hotel industry, which guided me to uh, incredible foodie areas, both back home in India and abroad. So it was learning, learning, learning all the way, and it was just my quest for doing something new, which is making me standing here right now. Um, for me, I became a chef because I wanted to earn money, earn money to get a car. So I started washing pots in restaurants, fell in love with the whole atmosphere and buzz of being in a kitchen and getting extra responsibility as you learn and went along. So pretty, really from the bottom up, is kind of has been my journey. Uh, being a chef means you can travel all over the world once you've learned your skills. So leaving college, I kind of went to Australia, Spain, and worked in England for a few years. Now I've come back home.